presented you all with a ray of fun, interesting, and intellectual information throughout this time period. And I think we should consolidate some of that. This video will consist of five tips from five different videos that I believe will be relevant for you in this lovely time. Next week, we're actually gonna start a month long series, which you will find out what that is next week. So look forward to that. And I hope you enjoy these five picked out tips for you. Let's go. food costs like I said in my other video it's actually better to cook at home so how do you know what to get or how much to spend on your food simple first you're gonna start off by trying to come up with a budget for your food or meals for the week how do you do this by creating a grocery list you're gonna look up recipes or meals that you're gonna want to chef it up and cook during the week and then you're gonna put that in a virtual grocery list from the store that you're looking into at the end of the list it should tell you your total and from there you should know what your budget is for that week for your food but as you're putting those items on the grocery list try to look at some generic items now I know some of you guys are saying I can't do generic I need my organic imported kiwis for Pete's sake however most products when it comes to generic or name brand items they don't really have a difference in their ingredients or products. It's just the name. So if you need that brand, go for it. But for my people who are trying to save, check out the generics. Also, check into some BOGOs that are happening. Buy one, get one free. I know there's some buy one, get half off. We're looking for the free, baby. So make sure you check those out while you're in your grocery store the next time. Moving on to the eyes. Now I know you guys are wondering, Kirby, the shades, where did they come from? I know. These are not prescription glasses. They're actually blue light canceling glasses. And I'll explain why. Blue light is a type of light that comes from the production of blue wavelengths, which are absorbed or refract off of things so we can see the color blue. So for example, when you look at the sky, it's blue because of blue light slash wavelengths. Blue light is also something that comes from any device that emits light. So like your TV, your cell phone, your tablets, lamps, all that good stuff. The thing about blue light is that its wavelength, instead of just staying at the front of your eye like the other ones do, it actually travels to the back where the optic nerves are, which has a lot to do with your eye function. And since it travels all the way back there, it can actually make your eyes get sore and hurt. Also, blue light, since you're getting exposed to light, can mess with your circadian rhythm, which has to do with your sleeping. It has been seen that blue light suppresses melatonin levels, which is directly correlated with sleeping habits, and has been seen to even lead to clinical depression. But Kirby, blue light's all around me. How do I get away from it? It's everywhere. I'm watching right now and there's blue light coming from the screen. Don't worry. There's some ways to help reduce your amount of blue light intake throughout the day. Two ways that I would recommend for you to reduce your blue light intake throughout the day is one, reducing your technological use in general. For example, I know scrolling through TikTok can be fun and you get lost in all the, the videos and pictures and you go to Instagram and Twitter, all the social medias, you know? Try to make a time limit for how long that you should be using your phone at a time. For example, you know, two hours would be a good amount. And then after that, you know, rush your drives, look at a book, paint, draw, you know, do something that doesn't really involve a lot of blue light contact. And then after a few hours, get back to the grind. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about conversations. Now, this is one of the, I wanna say hardest parts for some people to get to. You know, they swipe, they got their matches. Now it's time to initiate conversations. Some people are like, I'm gonna wait for the gentleman to write. And some other people are gonna be like, it's 2020, she should be writing me first. If you feel like you can actually foster a connection through this person, don't let time wait, write them first. It's been proven that men are actually the ones who write their matches faster with an average of two minutes after matching them. When compared to women, it's 38. That's what? If you swipe for them and you both match, it's for a reason. So why not, you know, taking out the olive branch and being like, hey, how are you? How's your day? Or are you like, hey, you like that artist too? Love them. Have you heard their EP for this? Going on from there. If you're not that bold and can't really just start a conversation out of nowhere, because not everyone can do it, you can do simply sending a gift. I've done it a lot. It's been very effective. You get gifts back and you kind of get to see someone's humor through that. Or you can start it off with a fun fact, a corny pickup line, or you can have them chew. And then it kind of gives you a little more leeway in your conversation, which is pretty cool. And also, try to write them back. It's two sides of a coin. They both go for the same thing. You have to put in as much effort as the other person. You can't just be like, 
they have to entertain me and give me their, you know, time of day or whatever. Give them as much respect and time as they're putting into you, that's all I'm gonna say. Now, a lot of sports that we're used to are very high in contact, whether it's basketball, football, volleyball, not very social distance friendly. However, I have two suggestions on different sports that you can be doing during this COVID time that are social distance friendly and also friendly to yourself in general. And they're gonna be tennis and golf. When it comes to tennis, not only is it a good topic for a song, bounce back, bounce back like a tennis ball, but it's also good when it comes to increasing your hand-eye coordination and your focus. Tennis ball is so small and can be hit for miles per hour. So you have to be able to concentrate on it and be able to move your body at the precise uh, moment so that you can make sure that the ball hits the center of the racket so that the trajectory can, a lot of science. But basically, you have to be able to focus and be able to move quickly and react to these different scenarios so that you can win in your match. So that's one benefit. Another is that it's a full body exercise. As I've mentioned before, those who are wealthy or rich or accomplished, they normally integrate a 30 minute aerobic exercise in their day to day lives. And tennis can easily be yours. Get your heart racing, get you moving a lot, and social distance friendly. And if you wanna be competitive and wanna do two on two, there's plenty of space on the court to be able to do that. And last but not least, have fun. This is my first college party. I was so excited, I was so happy to get there. I go in there, it's like all the dudes are like on the wall and there's like four chicks like dancing and well, one's kind of like, you know, out of there. But anyway, they're having a great time with whatever dudes they found or had or brought or whatever. And then the dudes are just standing there with like their cup like, yeah. And I'm like, why? Why are you here if you're just gonna stand on the wall? Most of the times your experience when you say it's a negative experience is sometimes because you didn't put the effort in to make it better. So talk to people or invite a friend that you know you can always hang out with so that you guys can at least piggyback off each other in that incident or you know, just be open to these things. All right, my dudes, I hope you found that insightful, refreshing, and don't be scared to click and watch those videos if you haven't already or to just go through our lovely category if you will. If you like this video and like to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you think I did a good job, give me a thumbs up so I know how I'm doing. But until next time, adios for now.